Hey guys, it's Kaylor. Welcome to the YouTube channel. In today's video, I have an Adobe XD design tutorial for you guys. We're gonna be designing this website that you see right here using Adobe XD. So this is part one of two. We're gonna be designing the first half in today's video and then finishing that in a second video. So like always, there is a link down in the description for the project file. This will be the starting point for today's tutorial. It's going to have the 12 column grid set up and I also have some guides out here to make designing this a little bit quicker and more time efficient for the video. So I'll have all that set up as well as the colors and character styles. For the component section of the assets, I'm going to give you guys the icons and some other stuff that we'll be using. For the illustrations I'm using in today's design though, it is from a library and I'll show you how to get that it's very easy and it's free to use in just a second. But first, today's video is sponsored by Milanote. Milanote is a bit different than traditional software. It's more like working on a wall in a creative studio. It allows you to map out your projects, gather and organize all of your inspiration in one convenient place, and it also allows you to collaborate with your colleagues or clients in real time. As a designer, it's an essential part of my workflow, and this awesome tool is free, so check out the link in the description. So to get the illustrations that I'm gonna be using in today's tutorial, you can go to humans.com, and that is with three A's. This is a free library, just simply click get the library, and this library has a bunch of illustrations that you can mix and match, and all the ones that I'm using in today's tutorial, I just dragged out from the presets that are provided for you in the library. It's very easy to use. There's a sketch file, just open that up in Adobe XD by double clicking on it or right click open with Adobe XD, and it should import just fine, and that is how I got the illustrations for today's tutorial. It's a great library. I'll have the link for that down in the description as well. So with all that said, let's go ahead and get started with today's tutorial. All right, so like all of my tutorials, feel free to make this website your own by adding your own logo and your own text. Uh, but for this design, I already have my copy text prepared. I'm gonna show you guys how to design that and go through the process with you, but feel free to customize it, like I said. So first, we're gonna start off with the navigation up top, and I have this guide right here. It's at 150 pixels, I believe, from the top of the artboard, and we're going to center all of our links and logos up here in this. So I'm just gonna zoom in to the top left-hand corner, and I'm gonna hit T on the keyboard for the text tool and I'm just gonna type out efficiently. And I'm actually going to lowercase the first letter of this just for a nice touch. And I'm going to grab a rectangle and just drag this out. And this is going to be 150 pixels high. And that's all we're gonna use it for is something to simply get that guide. As you can see, it kind of snaps right into place. That way it's a little bit easier to center things. For this, I'm gonna set this to our black color that we're gonna be using throughout the design. It's just 222222. And then for the first character, just to give this a little style, I'm gonna highlight the first letter and I'm gonna change this to the blue color we're gonna be using, which is 5FCFF8. It's a nice light blue color. Next over here on the right hand side, I'm just going to drag this rectangle over here into this corner just so we can use that for alignment purposes. And we're gonna drag out our first icon. So we're going to center this vertically just like we did and i'm going to right click on the blue swatch over here in the assets panel and apply as the border uh, so we have a nice blue on that so feel free to add as many links as you want but i'm going to add three so i'm just going to go ahead and grab the type tool and i'm going to start to type those out now all right so now that we have all that let's go ahead and make sure everything is set to the correct size font for our logo i'm actually going to drop this down to 30 point font and this is going to be bold weight and open sans and make sure it's aligned to the left. And for each one of our links here, I have the links preset set for you. This is going to be 17 point font bold, and I'm going to align each one of these to the right. First, I'm gonna put contact us here, and I'm gonna vertically center this, and I'm going to put this 60 pixels from the left of this icon. And we're gonna continue using that spacing throughout, so 60 pixels in between each one of our other links here. Then we can delete our space holder rectangle. So next up, let's move on to the heading text. So mine's just gonna be, we help brands grow, and I'm going to align this to the left, and I'm gonna set this to my largest font, which is right here, it's my H1 large, and this is 80 points, bold, and open sans. So for now, I'm going to align this here on the second column, or on this second guide right here on the left. It doesn't matter where it is vertically for now, we'll adjust that after we add some more elements. Now we can add some text, so I'm gonna grab the type tool, and I'm just going to drag out a text area that's about five columns wide, and I'm just going to type out some random junk text for now. Then I'm going to select the body text here, and this is going to be set to a gray color, which is 787878, and this is 
Open Sans 17 point font, and this is semi bold. So I'm just going to paste in some copy text here. And then I'm going to adjust the height of this box just to fit our text. And for our body text in this, I'm gonna make sure that our line spacing here is 32 pixels or around that. That way we have some good white space in between all of our text. So for now, I'm just going to shift this over to the right just a little bit, and I'm going to create a line. So I'm gonna grab the line tool and hold shift and drag a line out. I'm going to go over here in the top right and precisely make this 45 pixels high. And for the border, which is going to adjust the width, we're going to set that to four pixels. And we're also gonna change that to our black color. So once we have that, we can center that up with our text. And I'm gonna put this about 17 pixels away from the text, and then I'm gonna grab both of them. After that, I'm going to then touch this over here on the left-hand guide, and we're gonna put 17 spacing below our heading here. So now we need a button, so I'm just going to grab the rectangle tool, and I'm just going to drag out a button. The size of this doesn't really matter for now. So we're gonna start by putting in our text here in the center, and I'm just gonna put grow your brand. And once again, we're gonna make sure this is set to our link text, 17 point bold font. I'm going to make sure this is center aligned, and then I'm gonna grab both the rectangle and that, and center align them just like that. With each of our buttons that we're gonna be doing in this design, we're gonna have a certain amount of spacing on the left and the right side of our centered text. So depending on how long the text is in your button here, the overall size of your rectangle will vary. So I'm going to select the rectangle and hold Alt, and you'll see we have about 52 spacing, 53 on each side, and I'm going to continue holding Alt, and then I'm just going to drag that in until we get about 30 pixels, and I'm just gonna put this at 202, just so it's exact, and then I'm going to recenter these together. Then we can touch this here on this left-hand guide, and then we're going to put this about 60 pixels below our body text. To finish off our button, I'm going to select the rectangle and I'm going to give this a border radius of five. And then we're going to remove the border and for the fill, we're just going to apply the blue color we're using. Select the text and change that to a white fill. That looks pretty good. One thing I do want to adjust is the overall height of the button. I'm gonna set that to 60 pixels and then we'll recenter these together. And then check our spacing and see if that's any better. I think that looks pretty good. Now with all of this selected, I'm going to hold Alt and see how far this is from the top of the artboard. And I'm just going to begin moving this into a position visually. I think around 280 pixels looks pretty good. Take in mind that this dashed line is the bottom of what would be seen in the browser. So everything below that is not visible. So this looks like a pretty high to mid spot here on the artboard. So I think that'll work for this design. So I'm gonna drag in my first two illustrations here. Like I said, you can grab these from that humans library. I don't think I adjusted these in any way. They're just straight from that library. So then I'm gonna position these two illustrations on the screen in a nice visual way. I kind of thought that with their hands kind of pointing out like that, it would be cool if they made like a line visually. So that's what I decided to go with. I also have a background shape, which is included in this library. So I'm just going to stick that in here for a little bit of detail. We'll put it around there. Command shift left square bracket key will send that all the way to the back. And then let's also add a circle for a little bit more detail. I'm gonna set this to about 170 pixels. Remove the border and we're gonna set that to this maroonish color, it's D8357B. And then I'm going to just kind of center that in between their hands. So I think that looks pretty good. So that's gonna be this section. Let's move on to our second section, which is just a small 400 pixel section. So I'm gonna grab a rectangle and I'm just going to drag that out here. So instead of leaving this at white, let's go ahead and add a light gray to this. This is F9, F9, F9. Let's go ahead and create a rectangle. So I'm just gonna drag one out here. And I already know the exact dimensions on mine, so I'm gonna set mine to 150 by 220. So I'm gonna remove the border on this. So we can see it, we're gonna go ahead and add a blue color to the background on that. And we're gonna set this to 15 pixels for the border radius, just to add a nice round there. And then I'm gonna drag in another illustration. So we just have this guy kind of walking and I'm gonna put him around there. So I'm gonna grab that rectangle we just created and hit Command C to create a copy, Command V to paste. And then with that selected, I'm gonna hold Shift and grab that illustration. Then Command Shift M to mask with shape. You can also go up to the top object mask with shape to do that. So I'm just going to grab both of those rectangles and Command G to group them together. So now we have this illustration card.
So next to that, we're gonna have some text. So I'm gonna grab the type tool and I'm just gonna type out 367. Set that to our maroonish red. And this is going to be our heading three. So this is going to be 34 point bold open sans font. And we're gonna align that to the left. So I'm actually gonna add a decent amount of spacing in between this and the illustration, so 40. We'll worry about the vertical height in just a minute. Below that, I'm going to add a text area. I'm just gonna put in a bit of jump text and we'll set that to the body text. So I'm gonna set this to a 370 pixel width and I'm going to copy and paste in a bit of text. So I actually have two lines of text here. First I have happy clients and then below that I tell a little bit more info. So this is a kind of secondary heading. So I'm going to change this fill from our default gray color that we have for our body to our black that we're using. So two, 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 two. And then we're gonna put 17 spacing below just like that. We're gonna grab both of those, make sure they're aligned to the left, command G to group them. And then we're going to grab that in the card and center those together. So I'm going to grab all of that and I'm going to hold Alt and drag out a duplicate. So I'm gonna select the card and hit Command Shift G to ungroup it. So that will ungroup the illustration from the background. So I'm just gonna drag that off and delete it. So we're now going to change this card to something else. So I'm gonna grab a yellow color. This is F4D330 and just fill that in for that rectangle. Then for this card, I'm gonna have two people on this one. So I'm just gonna drag those out and I'm just going to position them just like that. So same process as before, I'm gonna grab the rectangle in the back, Command C, Command V to copy and paste it on top. With that selected, I'm gonna hold Shift and now I'm gonna grab both of these illustrations and then Command Shift M to mask that just like so. And then we can grab both of those and hit Command G to group the illustration and the background shape to one grouping. Then we can just adjust the text over here. And so we have something like that. So I'm going to grab each card and their text and group them together. And then we're going to position this first card here on the left centered with this gray rectangle and on this second hand column right here on this guide. And on this one, I'm going to center it vertically as well. And I'm going to place it here on the right hand second column, just right on that guide like so. So that will make sure that both of those cards are nice and centered. And with that, we can go ahead and select the artboard and turn off the layout grid. And I'm going to hit command semicolon to turn off the guides. And that is our first half of our design. So that's gonna do it for today's design tutorial. That is part one of our website design using the humans library. Thanks again to Milanote for sponsoring today's video and making it all possible. If you'd like to check out their product for planning your next creative project, check out the link at the top of the description. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you leave them down below. I answer comments for the first hour or two the video goes live, and then at a later date, I'll come back and answer the comments that I missed after that. Uh, so just make sure if you have any questions, leave them down below and I'll try to get to them. Make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more design-related content. Make sure you have that notification bell on so you don't miss a video. And as always, have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next one.